Okay, we're going to set this rear blind nut first. Um, I've opened up this hole to 5 16 to accommodate the blind nut. And uh, since this is in it, since the plate is perpendicular and the holes are built perpendicular, if you want the uh, blind nut to come up square, you have to uh, compensate for this angle. So when I sawed this off to get it correct, I saved the piece. So if I put that on here like so, now I've got a uh, perfect square flush piece with which to tighten this down and draw this blind nut down square. So that being said, we'll take a little high salt five minute epoxy. Doesn't take much. Mix that up. Apply a little to my blind nut. Another thing about this high saw, non-sag. You don't have to worry about it running off or dropping off when you drop the nut. started. Draw it up snug. There we go. Okay. Set that in there. And there it is. drop the wing on here and make sure that lines up. inch bolt to get down in there. Do the next two. Okay, it's time now. We're set the wing bolt uh, blind nuts for the uh, two forward wing bolts. Uh, worked out real nice. I cut out one of the windows, 
which gives me access uh, underneath the uh, pull-down plate. So we can put my blind nut in. It makes it pretty simple. Uh, so we will uh, mix up a little high sole here. Realigning these plates and everything really makes takes all the hassle out of making your blind nuts and getting them in the right place and without uh, any problems getting the nuts seated properly in the direction that the screws are going to hold it down or the bolts are going to hold it down. Okay. If I can keep from dropping this. Or cross threading it. It's a nice one. You can see that nut. Usually I will not have my few sheeted when I'm doing this so that I can get in there and put the nut in the right place. Okay, that one's seated down. All we got to do now is put the other one on, get that down, and uh, I think we're ready to start sheet the bottom of the wing. Okay, just two additional little things uh, before we wrap this up. Um, I took a thin CA and thoroughly saturated down inside the balsa block here so that inside of that gets real nice and firm so you don't crush it when you tighten the wing down. Secondly, um, I've got my uh, steel washers. I used two, two steel washers in there. I want to glue those in with high saw so uh, they won't come out because once we get the belly pan on here, we'll have to make some extension tubes. And those will um, actually keep these in place, but be sure that they are in there. I want to put a little high saw on these, squish them down with the bolts, and then I know they're going to be set in there firmly. So. Once again, a little mix of high saw. Okay. Let's put that right where we're at here. And we'll just drop that in there. Hey, it actually landed glue side up. How often does that happen? Okay. We'll cinch that down and tell that. Cures. Uh, we'll be ready to start shooting the wing. <laughs>